One project finishes up and another one gets underway. That was the story of the day as PCN dropped in on the ribbon cutting ceremony for the town wharf in downtown Plymouth. And then we headed up the road to Cordage Park for a groundbreaking ceremony. We spoke with the town manager, Melissa Arigi, to find out what more is in store for each of these locations. We've been looking at that old, dilapidated, falling down, condemned pier for years. But more importantly than the town looking at it, it's the fishermen and the lobstermen that no one was able to use it. And it was really unacceptable in that area. So David Gould, the director of Marine Environmental Affairs, working really closely with some of the other department heads, including Jessica Casey, our economic development director, aggressively went after a MassWorks grant. Now the MassWorks infrastructure grant is really competitive and we wanted it. And there are some things that you have to be able to show. They're not just going to the state, won't just give you funding for improvements. The Lieutenant Governor, who really oversees this, wants to see some kind of economic boom to it. They love to see and it makes us more competitive when they see a town match. And this town had already given quite a bit of money towards that new wharf. I can't say enough about how pleased we were when we received $4 million from the state. And I think the reason that we had such a great ribbon cutting and the event that followed later that day, which was the shovel in the ground, groundbreaking at Cordage, was to really thank the Lieutenant Governor and our local delegation for providing Plymouth with that money. We were lucky, it was one of the biggest wards in history. Cordage Park is this 45 acre site that's been identified for over 20 years as a really critical component of North Plymouth and really the town at large. What are we going to do there? You know how many people don't even know that that beautiful waterfront area is part of that site? So the Jenny brothers own the site and they've wanted to develop it for years, but they need to work with the town on that. So they worked closely with Lee Hartman, our Director of Planning and Development, to come up with a proposal that would work for the town. And what they came up with, or what you're going to see at that site, is they knocked down that Walmart building. Now, a little over 200 units of housing will go up at that site. At the end of this whole project, it will be well over 600 units of housing. I think that we'll see a marina, a restaurant at the end of marina. I mean, really big plans. And as you look at the backdrop, both the ocean and the Cordage Commerce Center, I think you can see what an impact, that a positive impact, that can have on North Plymouth. What we're doing, and part of that groundbreaking, is the town committed funding, and then again, we got money through this grant, this MassWorks grant, uh, another $2 million, to do a boulevard that will go in. Now, it's not just a road that's the entranceway to Cordage Park. It's really much more than that. This whole infrastructure brings you into this new development that'll bring in about $400,000 in new revenue to the town of Plymouth when it's completed, and that's some significant money for us. It's also about $35 million in private investment, what they're putting into that part of town. I think the timeline for that project is around eight months. Of course, it'll be weather permitting as we go into the winter, and you're all of a sudden going to see a very different view than you see right now when you drive by Cordage. The next step for the town wharf is determining where everything's going to go, but most importantly, we need to dredge. So we're working with our congressman and our delegation again to get that dredging money, because if we can get that done from the Mayflower 2 ship all the way down, possibly around the state boat ramp, you're really going to be able to see some potential for economic development. 